Today I'm going to introduce you my favorite cuisine, which is Taiwanese hot pot. It's global impact and culinary journey through history and culture. Taiwanese hot pot is a shared dining experience that has spread beyond its local roots to become a worldwide gastronomic phenomenon. The Taiwanese hot pot not only has cultural, but it also has historical aspect in an effort to shed light on its major impact on the world culinary scene. Um, one of the features of the Taiwanese hot pot is its customizability. Um, to cook in the broth, people can select from a variety of ingredients um, and everybody has the ability to combine flavor and substance in their own uh, special ways. There are many different broths to choose from Taiwanese hot pot, ranging from spicy and aromatic to mild and delicious. Common broth include um, tomato-based, herbal, spicy, um, mushroom, and um, spicy broth. The reason I choose to talk about the Taiwanese hot pot since it is a distinctive and culturally uh, rich culinary tradition that has become very famous. Um, the Taiwanese hot pot is a reflection of a country cultural belief and custom, including family values, communal dining, and customizing food. The Taiwanese um, hot pot is diverse in terms of ingredients as well as a range of broth and dipping sauce. Um, this variety offers a chance to talk about how um, various components combine to produce a distinctive and enjoyable dining experience. A contemporary and flexible culinary, sorry, cul culinary uh, tradition has changed over time to accommodate shifting preferences and taste, making it applicable to modern dining trends like interactive dining and health conscious eating. It also had a significant influence on the world cuisine, become well known and well liked throughout the world, making it, making it an interesting and permanent um, subject for a presentation on how original dish may go worldwide. Taiwanese hot pot act as a bridge between cultures, in introducing people to Taiwanese food and fostering an intercultural um, dialogue. Once they like it, they will be willing to try many other Taiwanese food. Taiwan, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, their history. It is a diverse and culturally rich island in East Asia, and it was first discovered by the indigenous Australian people for a thousand of years before the external power arrived. The Taiwan was first ruled by China's Ming Dynasty in the 17th century. Later, under the Qing Dynasty, it developed into a significant commercial and strategic hub. Following the First Sino-Japanese War, the Japan was granted to control of Taiwan by China, which is retained as a colony until the end of the World War II. Following Japan's cap Capitulation in 1945, Taiwan came under the rule of the Republic of China. Um, however, um, the Republic of China retreated to Taiwan and established itself there until 1949 after the Chinese Civil War. In later half of the 20th century, Taiwan underwent a democrat democratic transformation that was characterized by several free and fair elections. Taiwanese hot pot is famous because of its flavor profile and its unique blend of herb, seasonings, and sauce. The distinct flavor has not only shaped the hot pot itself, but has also had a significant um, influence on the various aspects of Taiwanese culinary culture, such as their umami-rich broth, in the Taiwan hot pot, I'm sorry, hot pot, the foundation broth is frequently created from a mixture of things, including pork, bones, poultry, fish, or vegetable. The soy sauce and the sashimi oil are frequently essential ingredient um, in their dipping sauce. This flavor combination is frequently employed in Taiwanese cooking to give um, numerous dishes, including noodles, stir fry, vegetable dishes. The dipping sauce used in Taiwanese hot pot can be customized 
by combining the ingredient like garlic, um, onions, and uh, cilantro, chili peppers, etc. This focus on the customization has influenced the Taiwanese food culture, fostering innovation and personalization in home kitchen. The Taiwanese hot pot frequently includes um, aromatic and spice in the soup, such as the star anise, cloves, uh, ginger, and garlic. Its fresh in season ingredients are emphasized in the Taiwanese hot pot. This dedication to the fresh freshness has influenced their cuisine, pushing people to look uh, for more freshness, locally obtained ingredients for all, their, all of their dishes. The Taiwan's dining culture has been inspired by um, the aspect of the hot spot, where the diners prepare their own dishes at the table. Shabu Shabu from Japan and other similar interactive dining events has also grown in the popularity as fun and participation way to share the meals with others. It is also a way of balance and healthy eating, um, and it also can blend with everything. The hot pot was introduced to Taiwan through the wave of Chinese immigration during the Tang Dynasty, culture exchange during the period of foreign rule. Over time, it became deeply ingrained um, in Taiwanese food culture, um, in evolving into the beloved culinary tradition that is both reflection of Taiwan's multicultural society and a symbol of together and communal dining. Later on, the hot pot was slowly brought into Taiwan and introduced during, during the Qing Dynasty. As it developed, it included regional cuisine and took on distinctive Taiwanese traits. The Taiwanese hot pot gained the popularity during this era, like I mentioned above, um, especially among the working class communities during the, the, the migration because of its affordability, simplicity, and the communal aspect of sharing a meal uh, around a simmering pot. This is the picture that I got from one of my research articles. Um, it was one of the hot pot restaurants first opened in Taiwan by Chinese people. And um, actually, they are very famous for the Sacha sauce. The Sacha sauce um, in Taiwanese household there is an essential cooking ingredient that is always stocked along the side of the soy sauce, vinegar, and sugar. Um, back in the post-war era, the vast majority of the Taiwanese people not only didn't know what such a sauce was, but also they didn't eat beef, which is often associated with the sacha. Um, due, due to the traditional belief in their agricultural society of the time, but then nowadays it also becomes are one of the main ingredients for the hot pot. The climate and the weather in Taiwan have played a significant role in shaping the ingredients. Um, the Taiwan has subtropical climate characterized by um, a mild winter and hot humid summer. It is conductive to year-round um, cultivation of the wide variety of vegetables. There are common veggies in the hot pot um, normally include a uh, leafy green mushroom root vegetable. Taiwan is an island nation surrounded by sea, which was wide range of seafood. Fresh catches like shrimp, crab, fish, uh, making the seafood an essential part of the hot pot experience. Because of its climate, also suitable for raising poultry and pigs, chicken and duck are commonly used in hot pot, and the pork. Is a staple ingredient both in the broth and the thinly sliced meat for dipping. The warm and humid climate of Taiwan support a grow varieties of herbs and aromatic like basil, cilantro, garlic. While many ingredients are available year-round, the changing seasons in Taiwan also bring a rich varieties of seasonal vegetable and season. I'm sorry, and the seafood in the hot pot. And Taiwanese people often celebrate the seasons by incorporating season ingredients into the hot pot meals. Um, their hot pot culture is deeply intertwined um, with the social fabric and culinary traditions. Eating hot pot is a form of communal dining, which is loved one get together around um, a steaming um, pot 
with the broth to eat together. The Taiwanese hot pot is renowned for varieties of ingredients. It used to satisfy a wide range of dietary references and requirements. This openness reflects the Taiwanese multiracial society, where people of all backgrounds coexist together. Hot pot is often enjoyed during the celebration and special occasions such as Chinese New Year and birthday. It's symbol of together and festivity, bringing people closer. The cooking practice of Taiwanese hot pot has been handed down through generations. Family each have their own special hot pot custom and dipping sauce recipes. The chain of Taiwanese hot pot restaurants like Hai Di Lao and Asha Dry Noodle have spread outside of Taiwan in order to make Taiwanese hot pot available to worldwide audience. Um, they have open outlet of important cities such as San Jose, Cupertino, Fremont, and Milpitas. A global chef and food lovers have been inspired by their unique taste of profiles, um, which comes into the variety of broth, dipping sauce, and ingredient selection. Fusion hot pot recipes that combine Taiwanese components with regional ingredients and cooking method have resulted from it. Taiwanese hot pot known for its interactive style, where guests prepare their meals um, while sit in the table. Um, this similar dining experience have become more popular, um, such as Korean barbecue and Japanese shabu shabu. As Taiwanese hot pot become more well known, um, it acts as a cultural ambassador, promoting knowledge of the respect of Taiwanese custom and culture. It invites people to venture outside of the hot pot experience. Um, it also affects many other Asian countries, such as Thailand. Um, we have Thailand's um, hot pot style tom yum, um, Hong Kong's wulu um, hot pot, um, Vietnamese beef satay hot pot, and goat fermented tofu sauce hot pot. Taiwanese hot pot has impacted the world by expanding the global reach of Taiwanese cuisine, inspiring culinary innovation, and influencing their dining trends. Um, it also offers a compelling and multi-faced narrative that encompasses history, culture, making an excellent choices for presentation about the impact of traditional dish on the world. Thank you for listening.